So JR and I, JR and the VJs go back to freaking, what, like 2001, 2, 3? What's when you move here? Real talk, I moved in late 99. 99? I saw the set in New York. I feel like even here, you turned it up a little bit more <laughs> just because it's a homecoming, it's a reunion, you know? Man, I don't even know, man. Like, I just, like, I got to salute my producer, Buddha, because it's That's like, it's good. a good fit. Peace like, to Buddha, yeah, Peace man. to Buddha Beats. It's a good fit. Like, I moved to Boston for school, and it was like, you know, I was doing school. I always make music. You know, you're an artist. Like, stuff comes to you. But if you don't have a producer to kind of like, like, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have like someone who's on the same page musically, yeah. you're just writing a bunch of poems. You're just writing a bunch of lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Those left to read the well. Treat me well. Let love lead your choice to leave this world. And so when I got with Buddha, he was like focused, dedicated, and organized. So like we had a consistent regimen. Like I come in on Sunday, we record, we do something. If I record a verse, I record three songs, we do something. Produced by Buddha Buddha Beast. Beast, did all the beats. Did all the beats. How did y'all meet? We had uh, we had the same therapist. So we had the same therapist. So our therapist was a brother from New York, Jamaican brother, and he wanted to try something different. He was like, want to do a thing called rap therapy. So he's a therapist. You know, he's got his PhD, all of that. He's not a hip hop producer. Our therapist. So. You know, the time the time that it takes to jail and start making music, he didn't have the patience. So we ended up putting it out anyway. It's called um, it's called Outpatient is the name of the group, because we all are outpatients. And the project is called uh, Art Therapy. Yeah. So in the VJCs, early on, who's the first cat you met? Who'd you meet first? I met x Row in a college program called uh, LACOP, Los Angeles Community Outreach Program. And so salute to the brother, Dr. Brazil. He was a so lawyer. From LA. Yeah, we go from LA. Yeah. So he, um, Dr. Brazil, would get Black and Latino and Asian like students and families together. He had like a room of like 200 people every Thursday and like walking through the process of college and how to get into school. And uh, you know, salute to Tracy Morrell and um, Urban Jungle Entertainment, York Productions, a couple other producers. Uh, uh, Wayne Briggs yes. gave us a night at uh, MJQ. So imagine so he, this, I found out about 15 years ago, I'm related to Wayne through marriage. What? That's wild. He's from Boston. Cousin Peter Briggs married my aunt, Sharon Rock. He's from the Boston area too. What? Yeah. I, so we met him, I think x Row met him. And so like, Wayne was on that like cutting edge of like, like different, like, like all the Afro punks. Like everyone is into their own shit. If you're from Cali, you just got a different sensibility. And so, like, Wayne went to school in San Diego, and so he knew, like, some of my friend Odessa knew. So he kind of plugged us into MJQ, which was already, like, a punk rock club, but looking to do some different shit. So he gave us, like, a Wednesday night or something like that. So we were doing a lot of events, shows, and performing on our own at MJQ. So before MJQ was, like, a hip-hop spot, the VJs put it in. Like, don't, don't, like... Like, don't get it twisted. Like, I got to speak on that. Like, my girl would drive me to MJQ for shows or, you know, she'd be at our shows. And like, na like I think a couple years later, MJQ is now, you know, you got the Friday joint, you got all that shit. Like, don't get it twisted. Wayne Briggs is that dude. And he put us on and gave us a night. That's what's up, man. But yo, man, the new music, yeah, man. I'm glad you Definitely. like it. Nah, respect. Yo, I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Stage present, killing it. I like it. I like it. I appreciate like it. It's ill to, you know, hear the story and know that, you know, yo, I took a pause, I focused on school, but just to know that you're able to still get up there and express yourself on a high caliber. You know, we all, like, you know, we all students of that era, you know yeah, what I'm saying, of that special era. Yeah. And, you know, I seen an interview with a guru and Premier, and uh, Premier was like, yo, I think everyone has, like, a God-given talent, and you gotta, like, push that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, we all, like, as lyricists, we get lyrics that come from the ether, you know what I'm saying? They come from the, the ancestors, they come from the heavens, oh, yeah. they come through us, so we have a job to put it down and get it out. Yeah. So where can people find you online? Phoenix out the, P-H-E-O-N-I-X, out the, dot bandcamp dot com. Okay. You can get the uh, project Code of Honor. It's an EP. We'll have an LP out by January 2017, and uh, you can get everything there. You get T-shirts. You got CDs. 
Uh, you go to VJC 2016, you get all the events for this weekend. Okay. You know, we've been blessed to throw this event, the A3C event. We're doing a cookout at Scratch Academy on Saturday uh, in the afternoon. And in the early afternoon, we're doing a production workshop with Needles, who's worked with uh, Bruno, Bruno Mars no and uh, Lupe and 50. And that's Sum. Sum has been on his pen game hard. And he uh, he's worked with Needles. He's worked with a lot of industry producers. So Sum should be getting a Grammy soon, I'm sure. Well, that's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Well, brother, big ups, man. Big ups, yo. And love. Flame lit, man. Yes, likewise. Likewise, man. We'll be back to New York. We'll be back to Brooklyn for pushing buttons.